Hi guys, what's up? It's me, X Galaxy Girl X, and I just finished writing my script for my new webkin series, The Weight of Us. OMG! Oh. So I'm like so excited right now because I finished it. Um, so yeah, I just finished writing season one, um, and it consists of ten episodes. So. Whew, I'm so excited. I, it was so much fun to write, and I loved it so much. I still love it. Like, I love it so much. Um, I love the story. I love the premise of it. The characters feel so real, and, you know, they they don't feel fake. They don't feel like uh, they're boring and they're dull, but they have depth to them, and that's what I love about a character. And I feel like if a character has depth, they're, like, your favorite character, and that's what I love about all the characters, because they all have depth to them. So, yeah, I am just ecstatic right now. So, yeah. <laughs> so, ah! Uh, so, yeah, um, mainly that's that. Um, I made a video a long time ago, about a month or over a month ago, that I said that I was writing a, that I was, like, writing episode four or three, and I just finished writing them or something. But now I'm done! So, woohoo! So, yeah, um... Yeah, so, um, if you guys are wondering, um, I said this before, but I am gonna say it again. Um, my series should be coming out in about the middle of June, so be expecting it very soon. Oh, I'm so excited! So yeah, I haven't started filming yet, but I expect to start soon in a few weeks, but I'm, I'm, that's only because I'm very busy in the next few weeks. But I will be trying to have a video out next weekend, and it will be... Um, introducing the characters to my new series and it will kind of be an intro to the characters and I'm gonna hope that I can play it before every episode of the series so you always remember who the characters are and what their names are so yeah cuz there are a lot of characters but I'm only gonna put the main characters in the intro so yeah um yeah, so I just love the series so much. It's so wonderful. It, you know, there's lying and there's deceit in it, and it's it's really kind of dark. But you know, they also it also has the element of love and hope, and you know that's what I love about a series. So yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm just so pumped. I can't even right now. <laughs> so yeah, um. So that was kind of like what the essence of it was about. But if you guys really want to know what it's about, because I know you guys are all dying to know what it's really about because I haven't told you guys anything yet. The only thing I've told you is that it's set in the very, very, very far future. So I'm not going to give you guys more of a what it's actually about. So here we go. You guys ready for this? It's kind of dark, so prepare yourselves. Um, so the main point of it is that, well, the broad statement is like, all the humans have died off and now animals are ruling the world. They're living on this world now and there's no humans left. So, yeah, that's the broad statement of what it's about. But a more detailed statement of what it's about is that um, the animals have become intelligent. They are very intelligent. They, the humans um, genetically change them so they're more intelligent like the humans are. So animals are very smart now. and. Um, then there is a, um, there, the animals, um, there was this great war between the animals and the humans, and the animals obviously won, um, because the humans were all sick because of this virus that, um, came upon them, so, yeah, and it only affected the humans and not the animals, so, okay, and, um, so after all of that happened, um, and everything was better, and they, the animals started to heal, and uh, they started to progress, they created this wall, and the wall is a dividing line between the animals. On one side of the wall, the animals believe that they should live life like they were in the wild, like before they became intelligent, they should live in the wild, they should hunt to survive, and stuff like that. And then on the other side of the wall, the animals believe that they should um, be sophisticated like the humans were. Since they are now intelligent, they should be, they should act sophisticated, they should live in these nice little houses, they should eat in restaurants, they should do this kind of thing. So that's kind of where we are with the story. And 
Um, the story follows this one character. It follows many, many characters, and it starts it follows their storylines, and that's what I love about this series, which is different from what I've done before. Is it follows many different seri people, and but follows one main character, I would say, and he he gets into some trouble and we see what happens with him so that's kind of the main premise of it there's a lot more to it than just that but that's the main like background history of it so yeah um tell me what you guys think of the idea i know it's a lot to take in it's a it's dark and it's weird and it's different and it's like what <laughs> and it's like so just kind of process it all take it all in and yeah so I guess I'll talk to you guys next time. Tell me what you think about it. So, yeah. Talk to you guys next time.